Hey, New Hope, it's Pastor Austin coming at you with today's devotional. We are starting 10 days of fasting and prayer as we lead up to our spiritual emphasis week called Fresh Wind. We've got Pastor Manny Arango coming back. Many of you remember him last year. He's fantastic. We're going to have a great time worshiping together and uh, some time at the altar, praying with our families, with our friends, just deepening our relationship uh, with the Lord. And I'm so looking forward to that. But in the 10 days leading up, starting today, we are going to be having some pointed um, and directed times of fasting and prayer. And so today, the topic that we're coming at you with is uh, repentance and cleansing. It's repentance and cleansing. Without holiness, no one will see the Lord. We hear scriptures like this. And so it is so important that we as believers live a life that is full of repentance, where we are turning from our ways, where we're examining ourselves so that we can be holy, so that the Lord can reveal in us any impurities and bring those to the surface and purify us. In Psalm 139, verses 23 and 24, it says, Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me, and lead me in the way that is everlasting. Man, that is our prayer as your pastors to you and your families, that every day you'd be waking up and saying, God, is there anything in me? Is there anything in my tendencies and my relationships and the way that I interact with my coworkers that is not pure, that is not God honoring, that is not your best for my life? And we just would encourage you all, let's take it upon ourselves as a church to really allow the Spirit of God to speak into those deep places of our heart, to purify us so that we might be heard from the Lord, that we would see the Lord, that we would see greater things in Christ. And so this week um, and today especially, let's live a life of repentance. And I would just encourage you to spend some time, five minutes today, just asking God, is there anything, is there anything in my life that you would um, have me stop doing, that you would correct and lovingly rebuke me. So I'm going to pray for you and uh, just thank you for being an amazing church. Jesus, I thank you for everyone watching this video. And I pray, God, as, as we um, just open up our hearts for your spirit, Holy Spirit, to come in and purify and sanctify us, we just welcome you in, Lord. And so I pray that you would turn over every stone, that you would look in every nook and cranny, and if there is anything in our hearts, in our thinking, in our in our ways, God, in our language, in in our actions that is unpure, impure, and and um, just displeasing to you, I pray that you would reveal that, and that uh, you would, by your grace, save us from that sin, and by your grace, give us the power to overcome our sins. We thank you for all that you've done, Lord, and we just want to live a life that points to you. So I pray a blessing again over everyone watching. May we live in your holiness, and uh, would you just speak to our hearts. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hey, excited to see you this week at Sunday, but uh, be looking for tomorrow's video and Saturday's video. We got 10 days of this, and God bless you. We love you. If you ever need anything, Please just reach out, contact your pastors. We love you and we're there for you. God bless you and we'll see you soon.